ESP. The South and Eastern African Trade Information and Negotiations Institute, Siatini, together with the Civil Society Budget Advocacy Group, are calling for the reintroduction of graduated tax. Addressing the press this morning in Bukoto, Kampala, the organizations believe if reinstated, graduated tax will improve revenue collections for cash-strapped local governments. We are still proposing that graduated tax should be reinstated. Uh, one, to finance local governments. Local governments need this money. Yes, people to run away, but even today, we have people who are still evading taxes. But do you know why? For them don't run away. You hire a tax expert and evade it legally. In 2005, President Jerry Museveni ordered for the abolition of graduated tax during his 2005 presidential campaigns, arguing that the tax was a symbol of imperialism, where citizens were subjected to humiliation during its collection. At the time of its abolition, FDC presidential candidate in 2006, Kiza Besuje, had called for its scrapping. However, Jen Nalunga, the country director of Siatini, says graduated or progressive tax is very helpful if it's collected properly. Government has been saying that, you know, the collection method, you know, it's expensive, it isn't efficient, but we are saying let us improve the collection method. Uh, that one, uh, I completely rejected that because it's not uh, it's not economical to start collecting money which you have already in the country from your citizens. It would de de uh, depend on whether it's well distributed and in the light of the rate of corruption that we have in this country, it may just be pressing the average man and may not actually achieve what it is aimed at. They're also calling for the reintroduction of road tolls, property tax on vacant land, and special taxes on infrastructure projects such as the construction of dams. I cannot keep on telling that they should be relying on the efforts of the Europeans, the Chinese, and other people to, to finance our own development, yet we can do that. So when you see that we are beginning to, every year we bring on cigarettes as a source of revenue, we now brought on Mivumba, we are now taxing diapers, it really tells you that the government has not really gone ahead to, to look at those particular areas where we can get a substantial amount of money that can improve this particular economy. The civil society organizations also want citizens to demand accountability from the state over the taxes they pay. Because if we knew that we are taxpayers, we wouldn't allow the corruption which is going on to go on and check. Yeah. You know? Graduated tax was first introduced in Uganda during the imperial colonial legacy as hat tax. Suhail Mugabe, NTV Weekend Edition.